Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is Sam. This is my world tour. It is January 21st, 2014. It's been almost a month since my last video, but I've been working hard as you can see. This is over here by the stronghold. The portal is just over there under the water. I haven't done much in the end yet. I haven't made an end grinder yet, but this has been my main project. One of my main projects. I have lots to show you. I got iron farm expanded. I got a sugarcane farm going, melon pumpkin farms. Lots of villager stuff going on. We're gonna take a look at all that. See if I can take a look inside this while it's moving. This is my collection system since I just have these guys dying to fall damage because I didn't really need the experience for that. So I just spaced out these power rails and I have levers all under these cobblestone blocks and then most of this is made of snow. And the hopper is down along here to, so that they pull them out of the cart, the hopper cart as it flows through. And if we go down here, we can see that I've been get farming quite a lot of it. Now we are in one of the snapshots, for those that know and care about that kind of thing. So I've created from away from 174. You can see I've, I've actually finished this like around Christmas, so I've been spending a lot of time around here. Like I go into here and I dig up a lot of the clay. Down here I gather up a whole bunch of lily pads, collect it, bring it back, and then just craft these blocks. So. Then I pay for hours and hours at a time in order to get a few gold blocks. So it's been going good. But I'm gonna cut the video here. We'll jump across to the next cool thing that I can show you. If you were, uh, were wondering where I got all the obsidian for all those portals, because they're all maximum size, I just went through and cleared out all of these towers, all these obsidian towers. They're all still standing, but they're all whole. Also, I'll still have a little cool healer thing over there. Nothing much here has changed. My beacon's all the way down at the end there. So yeah, all pretty much all of these have been hauled out. And then even that wasn't enough obsidian, I still needed to grab some from underground. So that was a lot of digging. Oh and I broke my uh broke my old nether pick. My nether bane pick, sadly. Still almost some leather equipment. Plus some new stuff in here as you can tell. Got my arrows. But yeah, I haven't I'm oh, I haven't upgraded to the thirteen snap snapshot because things have changed. So in the newest snapshot, which I haven't upgraded to. Yeah, in the week thirteen snapshot, uh golems and pigmen do not drop their iron and gold if you don't kill them from the player. If they kill die from fall damage or pistons, they don't drop anything. So that might change. I'm just staying in this version for now, but I do like my slime blocks on my gold. This is a little sugarcane farm that I'm just starting to build, as you can see. It's going pretty well. I was actually just working on this before I started this recording. Got all my supplies here. Little bug where this piston in the middle doesn't fire, so I might have set something up wrong. Just, but we'll fix that later down a few of these villager houses. We'll go check that out. The main reason I updated the snapshot, aside from the slime blocks, see these are the old villagers, they say to certificate, but if I trade with them, eventually they get these new fancy names. See this guy, buying rotten flesh is something new that they never used to do. So there's a whole bunch of junk blocks, junky items, like, like that, that we can now sell. But in here, I've got this new house. So I, I like the style of roof that that had, so I used the same style here when it's up a few blocks with some stairs. It's hard to see. Although I kind of had to spam torches in the upper stairs ledge. So I don't know about that, but let's get right to it. I got my villagers under lockdown here, all my good ones, because... Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, most some of these are the old villagers. Like, this guy is just for paper. This guy is just is for, is for beef. I'm not sure, but I don't know if the new villagers buy beef. You can see he's a leather worker now, which is one of the new kind of tags he, that he was given. Let's get them in here so they'll never die. Because what, what happened is, if you remember one of my last videos, I had a bunch of villagers where, oh, now I can buy every type of diamond equipment. I got my helmets and boots and armor and everything. Well, a bunch of villagers died and I lost some of those because I just had them wandering free form. So I, I built a whole bunch of golems. A lot of those are have built. Got some new guys. So now I can 
buy all my diamond gear. I think I have everything except for shovels. Yeah, I got a little sign there, which is good. Because I think in the new snapshots, they sell enchanted gear. I don't know if that's fully checked out. This is one of the old villagers as well. Oops. Yeah, wheat and chicken and wool and all that stuff. And this is one of the new ones. Because they never used to buy potatoes and carrots and pumpkins and melons. Well, and locks anyway. But now they do. So I think I have every villager that I need. But still one open spot up here. Which is fan-freaking-tastic. So eventually I'm going to make tons of emeralds and make tons of money. Tore down some of these houses. Rearrange some things. The downside is that the villagers don't breed automatically from doors. Um, they only breed after you trade with them. So after you trade with a couple of villagers, they'll try to breed if the doors are set up the right way. At least someone that buys string. I don't have one of those under lockdown. Okay, that's... Oh yeah, I got a rail cart system because for a while I was sending items in here. I'd collect stuff from my farms, send it in here so I could sell it. Uh, but this isn't going to be my trading hat anymore. So that's going to change. And over here is my melon and pumpkin setup. I had something similar to this in my previous YouTube series, my living large. It's just, you know, a melon grows, the redstone signal sends it to the piston, piston crunches it, hopper sends it in here. Same exact things for the melon, so I just put it on top, symmetrical. And then I spent a lot of time around here so it gets to fire all the time. I don't know if I saw this earlier either. I, I have a little upgrade here so that Basically, there's a comparator coming out of this, so that whenever there's eggs in there, it'll automatically fire. And I must have my game sounds off or something. Yeah, friendly creatures is off. Because <laughs> spending a lot of time around villagers and chickens, those sounds get annoying. I still need to build a sheep farm. I tore down that other one with the water washing away, and that's just a big wheat field, which looks cool and it's kind of practical. If that makes sense. Bring some horses. Nothing much has changed around here, I don't think. Working on the look and feel of the tree farm a little bit. I haven't been using this because I got so much trees from clearing out these forests. I've been doing a lot of clear cutting. Let's check out the map. You can see that I haven't updated these maps over here yet, but a lot of these forests are down. These are all down. Yeah, you can see these are my wheat fields. Oh yeah, my iron golem farm. I might have time to show that in the video. I, I did only have this cell at the first. I just duplicated that and built all four. That took a hours upon hours. three, or four, Probably three or four evenings worth because I get to play a couple hours a night. But that's looking good. Yeah, beautiful. Lots of things have been done in this past month. A whole month, <laughs> yeah, you can do get a lot done in Minecraft if you play every day. Oh, when I noticed that um, my villagers had, had been dying, I also sent a few over here as kind of a backup village. This is about 200 blocks away. The minimum is 100, I think. So I just sent a few villagers over here and created them a separate little house. Sent over a bunch, actually. <laughs> Most of them. And then just had, and just had them all rebreed. So this is my backup village. I'm going to eventually expand this and make a hotel or a castle or something over here. Wow, I'm, I'm terrible at killing people today. Well, another change in the snapshot is that carrots used to refill two, he two hunger bars. Now they refill one. So I switched over to cooked potatoes. I mean, unless, unless I'm crazy, I mean, I'm pretty sure carrots would fill two the same as bread. Or bread was two and a half. Regardless, yeah, I took the horses out of here because I didn't want to hit them with my sword when farming the leather. Okay, next up. Of course, you know, the river doesn't come through here anymore. I flattened this out and I raised the water levels a little bit. Oh, as well, he's, as well that lake over there is new, I think. Well, that was a couple of weeks ago for me, but that lake, I really like. Uh, the floor in here is done. Got an awesome pattern going. I mean, this place is still basically empty. But I lowered this down a little bit, got an enchanting set up. Because repairing is so cheap now. Like before, if I had this without the silk patch, it would be like 39 or 36 levels to repair. Now it's like 4 levels to repair. So cheap. Yeah, the whole enchanting system with lapis, and it takes less levels. I'm sure you've all heard that before. 
Leaves have a crafting, crafting recipe now. I was all excited in December around New Year's. How come that's not showing up for me? Wait a minute. Maybe I have to re-log. There we go. Yeah, I was all excited around New Year's. I went exploring. I found, you know, mushroom biome. I found a bunch of jungle temples. I found an ice plains because I didn't have any ice biomes in this area at all. Same as when I found a jungle, right? The way that biomes are in right now is that similar biomes cluster together. So since I'm in a medium temperature biome, all jungles and deserts and mesas and ice plains are far away. Anyway, I found those because those used to be those chisel blocks used to be the only place you could find them. It's jungle temples. You find three per temple and they weren't craftable. But of course now they're craftable and that's okay. I just decided to name those and keep those separate from the new ones. Another portal looks awesome. Got myself a Z still. <coughs> oh yeah, also. Oh, I thought I locked that already. Oh, you know what? I think what it was is I, I have rolled this back to one point seven point three. Because what ha there, there's a bug where sometimes, where like basically I upgraded the snapshot to version twelve of the snapshot, which is what I'm in now. Oh, oh two, sorry. And then I upgraded and locked the difficulty. And then I upgraded to 03, and all my items got erased. My inventory was empty. My chests were all empty. So I had to roll back to 174 and make sure that that wasn't it, and then upgrade back to the snapshot. Anyway, difficulty locking. It's a pretty cool thing. Now I can't change it to peaceful. It's beautiful. Got my new storage system, which is, I love it. I love it so much. Hopefully I have time to show off. Some of the new biomes and portals I've opened up for the new land, so I could gather a lot of this. This is cool. I really like it. I like these circular kind of sorting systems, so I can just kind of see at a glance where everything is. I need some glass? Oh, there it is. Because I had hundreds of chests all over my world, like three in this building and four in that building, and three sitting on this pile of dirt, and they're, they'd all be filled with random stuff. So it's like, okay, I'm looking for glass. Open up eight chests. Later, looking at random stuff. Well, I still don't know where it is. And of course, I like chopping off it with slime box blocks. I don't know how tall I'm gonna make this. Where are we at now? 114. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stop around here because around the old height limit. See if I can make it onto these guys. Yeah, pretty awesome. Love those blocks. Over here, I have a potion machine that stopped working. Well, it kind of works. I found a tutorial on Reddit about it. Basically, it's supposed to automatically create your potions. It's different from what I had in my old version, but it's supposed to be a flavor lever and it constantly makes them, but in the snapshot, it makes one batch of three and then stops, and you have to hit the button every time to make it go. Now, it's empty now, but I have a bunch stockpiled, and I don't know if I'll keep it or even if I'm going to keep it in this location. I may tear down a mover to make a different version. Because right now you'd have to swap out the ingredients every time you're changing it. Which is okay. I mean, that's okay. Don't really use potions very much anyway. Still on the docket to do is I have to make an Enderman farm. And now that these guys buy zombie flesh, a uh, zombie flesh farm. Those are all cool things that I can do. This place hasn't changed much. Oh, yeah, there's one cool thing I did put in. You see there's no stairway down here. I think I had this before where there's a water drop, but the slime blocks make it so much cooler. And I, I need a slime farm too, because I thought I had tons of slime balls. I had a few stacks, but then using them all on pistons for the melon farm, and then a couple slime blocks and you're all out. So eventually I'll have to figure out where exactly down here is the slime chunk. I'm also going to move this beacon soon too, because I'm pretty much got to the point where I've gotten to out or dug out everything in range of it just about. And then of course this I've been using a lot because I I emptied all these chests and just like I'm tired of carrying up one load at a time. Let's just lo load up, send five chests up at once, fill them up, and go. That was pretty cool. Okay, now I think I can show you some of the new areas I've found with my exploring powers of exploring this. Actually, this is the first thing I did in the snapshot after crafting slime blocks, is that you can craft these 
with quartz. So I started to do that a little bit. Realized, hmm, I want to actually use this for quartz. And as much as easy as it is to farm quartz, you know, I only have half its half its double chest or three quarters of a double chest full of quartz blocks. Most of it's in blocks anyway. And if the stone's really common, I'll just go to the new lands and dig stone. That's what I did. I found a mushroom biome. I don't think I put it on here yet. Okay, so what's changed in, in the nether? This leads to my iron farm, which I often just take a boat over to anyway. Uh, th that leads, that one I put up by accident when I was trying to get to my iron farm. It leads to, but it ended up leading to a really cool area with some cool mountains, so I left it up. Now this bridge over here, I went into it in the overworld and ended up, ended up finding a mushroom biome. So I put it down to the nether and just tunneled my way and dug my way back to home. And that's where that came in. Brought my arrows, damn. Let's turn that guy way down. Of course my tunnel to my, uh, this tunnel down here leads to the portal to the stronghold. Comes out right at the stronghold, the portal to the end as well. So my, where's my, and then this portal is now defunct. That leads to, that used to lead to the swamp somewhere where the gold farm is. And then this path down here. Well, you know what? I think this leads to the mushroom biome and the other one leads to the ice plains that I found. Yeah, I think those are the two por portals that I made because ice plains are so far away. Well, let's actually go there and check it out, actually. Yeah, so I'm about 4,000 block out, as you can see in my X coordinate. And finally found somewhere with ice in it. Now, what I could have done is just stayed at spawn and built up into the sky, because water freezes at high elevations now, and just built an ice farm, but I wanted to find this anyway, because there's a rare chance you can find something called ice spikes plains, ice spikes biome. And there's a separate type of ice that is not craftable or attainable normally. You can only find it generated, and it's the type of ice that doesn't melt, called packed ice. Ooh, you can see some new stone over there. So I was hoping to find a, a nice space, ice spikes within this for some packed ice, but I didn't. So this area might end up not being used, but eventually I still need to find that. The other thing is um, there's, there's a biome called a mega tundra, I think, that, sometime, that is in a cold region like this that has the the new brown grass, the brown soil that I need that you can't craft or obtain any other way as well. So eventually I'll have to get that. So I think I still have time to show my mushroom biome. I just left little cobblestone markers and torches to mark my way. But we're only 200 blocks out in the nether, which gets us a few thousand blocks in the overworld. So I'll turn those sounds down. Anyway, here we go. And here we go. We're about... Ooh. Actually, we've seen... I think we're closer than the Ice Plains biome, which is surprising. The Ice Plains, I think, was negative 3,000 X, and here we're positive 27, so the opposite end of the map. But yeah, so this ends up going... When I dug back, this ends up digging through a huge long tunnel and coming out right by my stronghold portal. And then the bridge that we saw earlier in the video bridges over to the ice plains portal. So if I remember correctly, hostile mobs do not spawn in this specific mushroom island biome. Now this is unique because usually mushroom islands are way out in the ocean, but with the new terrain, or maybe I just got lucky, but it's actually right near land. It's just across, across a river. Actually, I think it's technically a small ocean. But yeah, since oceans are so small now, what I did here is like, I was like, oh, let's just make a quick trip to try to find the new stone. And there's tons of it everywhere. Everywhere. Plus, I figured, hey, if I can find a cave down here, that would be even awesomer, too. Because, again, assuming I'm correct about mobs not spawning. So that's where I got all those chests and chests full of this beautiful new stone. This granite, especially. I'm looking forward to using this. Like that in the floor with some of that in the middle. Oh, so good. So excited. Anyway, I get my boat. Time to wrap this up. I hope you enjoyed my little world tour. 
We've got lots of exciting things in the mix, as you can see. So soon I'll have tons of iron and gold and emerald blocks. Got my mycelium as well, of course, which I'm not sure what I'll use it for. Now, unfortunately, it still touches what not work on these blocks. I mean, you get the block back, but you don't get, for example, I can't get a stem block. And I, I had a mod for that that I made way back in like Minecraft 1.5. Of course, can't mod a snapshot, unfortunately. Is there still stuff here to bring back? There probably is too. Well, I'm gonna go. Hopefully I'll have the next episode after this in less than a month. Still sandstone? What the hell, that's weird. Must be a beach that's on a cliff. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment. Follow me on Twitter. Shameless self-promotion, as always. And I'll see you next time. One last thing I meant wanted to mention. I've been going through and getting my achievements. I basically, for this, I put a pig on top of my barn. I use a carrot on a stick. I've got most of them now. That Strength beacon for that. I think you can get that from throwing it at a zombie, too. I'm getting close to this one. So I'm discovering a lot of new biomes. <laughs> There's no list that tells you what you found and haven't found. But I think I'm getting close to that. And my last one is this one. It used to be bugged. I think it's fixed. But I might need to trap a skeleton in a fixed location to get that. And then I haven't really... Eventually, I have to build a railway through the nether out to uh, to this biome. That should cover it. That's it. 